uh, we are starting with a new concept and uh, the concept that we are going to start is one more methods method that we have for hedging foreign exchange risk this, this method of the hedging foreign exchange risk requires the knowledge of derivatives in that the futures and options so considering that say you are clear with the that is concepts of the futures and options we are starting with the segment so let us start with the numericals and with that say gradually we will be understanding say the concept reliance limited an indian company has exported goods to a us company you don't have to write anything first of all we'll have a discussion payment of it is to be received after 3 months so the time period of the credit is 3 months consideration which is supposed to be received is $1000 expected spot exchange rate for rupee spot order is given to us so we are anticipating we are expecting that there are 20% chances that exchange rate will be 65 rupee spot order there are 30% chances it will be 74 rupees per dollar and there are 50% chances it will be 78 rupees per dollar like that so the probability is provided for the different exchange rates if option contract is entered upon then option price that is also given a name as exercise price is 75 rupees per dollar wherein you have the right of the conversion you don't have the obligation because in case of the forward contract what happens that say you are bound to the opposite party that is say generally with the bank wherein say you are required to do the conversion of the dollar currency over here at a predetermined rate if at all the spot market is better than the rate at which the contract is entered upon you cannot take advantage say of the spot market however we understand at say in option market you have only the right and you don't have the obligation to convert dollar at exercise price which is 75 rupees in our example premium is rupee 1 so you have to pay price of rupee 1 set to buy this right ignoring time value of money in case that is you are required to decide whether the reliance should enter into the option contract or not basically as we know friends that the premium is required to be paid up front it is required to be paid when the contract is entered upon so there is always a gap of the payment of the premium and the exercisation of the option so basically on this 1 rupee we have to consider the carrying cost however the question says that ignoring time value of money concept you are required to decide from the reliance company point of view that whether the forward that is option contract should be entered upon or not i request you to post your answer in the chat box before we i do answer that whether the option contract should be entered upon or not i do not write anything first of all let me explain you now kindly use your calculator along with me there are 20% chances that exchange rate is 65 so 0.20 into 65 that comes to 13 point 30 into 74 that comes to 22.2 point 50 into 78 that comes to 39 so overall it comes to 74 point so if at all we do not enter into the forward that is option contract we are expecting to receive 74.20 rupees per dollar now proceeding further to understand that say what will happen to your students we can say something like this if option contract is entered upon then what will happen let us see if at all exchange rate is 765 okay 65 then in that case whether you will exercise your right yes you will exercise and you are going to receive 75 rupees per dollar it is if it is 74 are you going to exercise your right yes so you will receive 75 you will receive 
If it is 78, are you going to exercise your right? No, you will not exercise. So what amount are you going to receive? 78 rupees per dollar. So let us assign x variable to it. So probability into x. So there are 20% chances that the rate would be 75. That comes to 15. Another 30% chances it will be 75, that is 22.5. And 50% chances it will be 78. So you will receive 39. So overall it is 76.5. However, there is a cost of premium rupee 1. So considering that cost of rupee 1 premium, what amount you will receive if at all you enter into the option contract 75.5. And if at all you do not enter into the option contract, it is 74.5. So basically, you should enter into the option contract. That is what we can say. So the on heading, option contract. In the trade on first point, We understand that in case of forward market hedge, comma, money market hedge, comma, the company will have A fixed rate of conversion full stop. It may be to buy foreign currency. or to sell foreign currency full stop second point as the rate is fixed comma so the company cannot take advantage of spot market Third point, by entering into option contract, comma, the company can have an advantage of getting a minimum amount or paying maximum amount
and uh, at the same time there will be an advantage of using spot market full stop so let us see how to calculate the answer now whatever we have discussed save that we are going to write working note number 1 calculation of amount receivable per dollar comma if option contract is not entered upon so let us see in that case what will happen probability then spot exchange rate and to that we will assign x variable probability into x 20 and 50 spot exchange rate is 65 74 and 78 probability into x so what will happen 65 into 0.20 that is 13 74 into 0.30 that comes to 22.2 then 78 into 0.5 That comes to thirteen n. So thirteen plus twenty two point two plus thirteen n. It comes to seventy four point two. Rupees per dollar. So if at all the option contract is not entered upon, you will receive an amount of seventy four point twenty rupees per dollar. Working note number two. calculation of amount receivable per dollar comma if option contract is entered upon so in that case what will happen friends important thing we have to prepare the table like this exchange rate exercise question mark amount per dollar probability will assign x variable to it then probability into x exchange rate is 65 Whether you will exercise your right, yes. So what amount are you going to receive per dollar? Seventy-five. You may write even seventy-four. That is net of the premium. That is also fine. In case of seventy-four, again you will exercise your right. So you will receive seventy-five rupees once again per dollar. In case of seventy-eight, you will not exercise your right. And this is the important point of the of the question. So you will receive seventy eight rupees per dollar. What is the probability of this exchange rate? There are twenty percent chances. For this, there are thirty percent chances, and for this, there are fifty percent chances. So the amount received per dollar is point two zero into seventy five. That comes to fifteen. 
0.30 into 75 that comes to 22.5 0.50 into 78 that comes to 39. So we understand that say 15 plus 22.5 plus 39 it comes to 76.5. Amount per dollar. This premium. What is the amount of the premium? The amount of the premium is 1 rupee per dollar. So net amount 75.50 rupees per dollar. This amount is supposed to be compared with this 74.20 for the purpose of decision making. Please write an answer. So write with paragraph. So, write down final answer. Reliance Limited is advised to enter in option contract. This is what we understand. Because of course 75.5 is exceeding 74.20 rupees per dollar. 